And welcome back YouTube, this is Boosterbacks Buster here with another video. Today, I'm here to share with you another comic book uh, pickup video, but this one's focused solely on the Robin Hood franchise made by the Xenoscope Publishing. Uh, all these were through online purchases, and I think that's about all I have to say for the introduction. Let's get right into this. First up, we have uh, the Robin Hood Gotta Catch Em All February Edition uh, Squirtle variant, and I gotta say this is absolutely fantastic. Uh, Sun K does some amazing, amazing art. Whenever he does a cover, it's highly sought after, and this is one to add to the collection. That's probably the newest one I have, uh, as far as released. Up next, we have this very awesome Robin Hood Justice issue number three, a New York Comic Con cosplay cover, limited to 350. Of course, this is a Sin City, the movie or the graphic novel cosplay, and I gotta say, it is absolutely lovely. I love the uh, whip that's wrapped around here, the uh, black and white city in the background, it is just a really, really well done cover. Uh, up next is another Sun K cover, this is the 2022 February Movie Club collectible cover, limited to 250, I believe this is Home Sweet Home. And I want to say this is Starship Troopers. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it is some sort of space uh, marine. As you can tell, we are in space here with uh, explosions going off. And these do look like marine type characters. So that's why I'm thinking Starship Troopers. I might be wrong, but... That's my first instinct. I'd say another very lovely uh, cover art. Sun K does some amazing, amazing works of art here. Up next is Robin Hood Vigilante Retailer's Cover Collectible Cover. It doesn't say what it's limited to, but I, usually if it's limited, it's 500 or less, typically. I have to say, this is another very lovely work of art. Robin dressed up as some sort of a, like, a princess, I want to say, with a tiara. And a very stunning uh, red lingerie outfit. Now there is a Z variant where she is topless, however, it is quite expensive and rare. The next one is another gorgeous work of art. This one's the Robin Hood Outlaw, quarterly exclusive, limited to 250. And it is a very subtle uh, Robin Hood chilling in a tree with her bow and arrow and some lovely uh, foliage background art here. I really do like this this particular cover. It's simple but it's uh, you, you know you got the main character Robin here but you also have I just really like the uh, background on this one. And foreground. But basically, the scenery. The scenery looks really well done on that particular photo. Alright, I want to save that one. Up next, we have the Denver 2019 exclusive cosplay, uh, limited to 350, Robin Hood Outlaw issue number 4. So, we appear to have Robin in some sort of like uh, Oktoberfest style outfit ready to serve some 
or drink some beer. I do really like that red feather in her cap. That's a really nice touch to this outfit. Alright, up next, this is probably one of my favorite works of art for covers. We have a really realistic uh, Princess Peach with terrifying piranha plants and a partially eaten mushroom and a really uh, disgusting looking pipe which if it does lead to the sewer it should be very disgusting. Uh, this is Outlaw issue number one, the Philadelphia Comic Con exclusive limited to two, uh, 350 worldwide. This is this is like t if Tim Burton were to make a live action Mario movie, this is probably something that you would see in it. Very, very dark, very uh, realistic looking, very uh, mature. I, I really like this particular art style. So the next two, I do have to censor because they do contain a little bit of uh, uh, nudity because YouTube can't handle it. But they are the last two for the video and let me tell you they are some pretty nice uh, items. So this one right here, we have Robin Hood as a schoolgirl. This is the, uh, one second, uh, Vigilante number three, Collector's Club, collectible cover limited to 100 issues, or variants worldwide. I gotta say, uh, it, it feels like a very nice, uh, naughty, uh, like, Valentine's, like, eat your heart out type deal. Almost, like, give her a chainsaw, and she, this could almost be lollipop chainsaw, uh, Variant here. Very cool. I really do like this particular cover. And the last one, and I was super, super happy when I was able to obtain this. It is a graded comic. And it's uh, The Grim Fairy Tales Presents Robin Hood issue number one, her very first appearance. Uh, the C.S. Moore Naughty Edition. I believe this is limited to 100 worldwide. And just to share with you, it is CGC 9.9. .9. That is a very, it's very rare to get anything above a 9.8. So this, it just adds that much more coolness to this particular cover art. I have been looking for this one for a long time, and I was finally able to find it. I was not expecting the 9.9 uh, .9 grade, that's just omega icing on the particular cake here. I hope everything's showing up okay on the camera. Absolutely beautiful work of art. Uh, very first issue of Robin Hood, so it will probably retain a little bit more value than some of the other ones. Being limited, I believe, like I said, to 100 uh, copies worldwide, that just increases the value over time. And being graded 9.9, .9, also by CGC certified, that also raises that up that much more. Absolutely beautiful work of art. Super, super happy to have this in my collection. Alright, with that being said, that should about do it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. If you want to see future content like this, hit that subscribe button and the, not and the notification bell. It definitely helps out the channel a lot. And please, in the comments down below, let me know what your favorite uh, cover was from this particular video. I will tell you, uh, mine has to go to either the C.S. Moore or the Princess Peach 
realistic looking one. Until next time, this is Boosterbox Buster, and I'm signing out. Peace.